It was a time when Britain's cyclists reigned supreme and many became household names. Now, a decade on, a shadow's been cast, not across the famous faces we knew, but on a man behind the scenes. A medical tribunal has found that in May 2011, the then British cycling and Team Sky doctor Richard Freeman had testosterone delivered right here to the National Cycling Centre in Manchester, the velodrome, the very home of the sport. And he did so, quote, knowing or believing it was to help dope an unidentified rider. Those following the two-year-long tribunal say this is a damaging day. Dr Freeman worked for British Cycling during the period that it won countless Olympic medals and was known as the Medal Factory. He was also the chief doctor at Team Sky when it was winning numerous grand tours. The fact now that he's been found guilty of ordering banned testosterone, knowing or believing it was for an unknown rider to improve their performance, is therefore incredibly serious. This leaves us with a whole bunch of unanswered questions, doesn't it? Absolutely. In fairness to those riders that have done nothing wrong, really, um, there should be some sort of investigation to see who this rider was and, and, and how deep it went. Was, was, was Dr Freeman a lone wolf? Did he have accomplices? British Cycling say that since suspending Dr Freeman four years ago, they've made substantial changes to their medical services and governance. They called this a day for sober reflection, felt by thousands of people who love our sport. Ill health has prevented Dr Freeman from working in recent years. Next week, the tribunal resumes to consider if he should be deemed unfit to practice medicine. Well, Peter's at the National Cycling Centre in Manchester. Peter, we've heard from British Cycling. What about Team Sky? Well, Sean, Team Sky doesn't exist anymore. They changed ownership and they became Ineos Grenadiers. They've said Richard Freeman fell short of their ethical standards and acted dishonestly, adding the team does not believe any athlete ever used or sought to use any performance-enhancing substance. So the sport today very much distancing itself from the former doctor and from what happened here a decade ago.